Michael Bobo, welcome in. Guys, I'm actually live today. <laughs> Can we get some yellows? Hi, Chris. Wait, Chris is singing out. Um. see like Yelp reviews of restaurants and it's like customers critiquing the place and just the odors pop off and talk so much shit. <laughs> or I saw a meme. I don't think I could ever post like a public review of a place. I'd be so like scared. I also feel bad just leaving like negative reviews in general. Like there's been a few times where I've had like few sus like uber drivers or whatever but i don't leave like a bad review i just give them like lower stars uber's too scary I used to have to take Ubers home at night from work, and I wasn't, like, as scared as I think I should have been. <laughs> I think the only- the thing that scared me wasn't necessarily, like, the drivers, it was just, like, how they drove. Like, some would speed, because there wouldn't be many cars on the roads at night, or there's been a few times where they've gotten, like, close to getting into an accident and that's kind of scary. But I don't like how like anybody can be a driver. I think that is kind of concerning. Do they do background checks on people? I'm live. 
Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Ooh, there's a new... This is a new, like, illustration, right? Okay, anyway. I think anyone could sign up to be a driver. I think so, too. I don't know. I don't want to spread misinformation. But, hello, good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. We had Kobobo and Chris and the Just Starting Soon screen. Thank you guys for chatting. Um, I haven't been live in a while, which kind of is true and kind of isn't. Because the last stream I did on this channel was... Like, Friday? I think I did a sub only on Friday, and then I went live on the art channel on Monday. Yesterday I did homework, so... Because I, I have so much homework, too. I have so much. But yeah, we're here today. Um, let's see, before we get started, let's get a sub goal up for today. I'm only- I'm testing out to see if the alerts work. Also, um, it's May 24th, so it's officially a month after my birthday, so I'm probably gonna get- my sub comp is gonna fall. I'm probably gonna like go back to like 50 subs today. <laughs> oh my god, hi Ryan, good morning. Hi Kim, welcome in. Wanted to say hi before work. Hopefully work goes well. And if I'm still live later, pop in and say hi again. And tell me how good the shift went. <laughs> I missed both of those. Don't worry about it. Life happens, man. Is my camera in focus? It is, okay. It feels like it's a bit... Not as crisp. Let me... Okay. We'll do... Yeah, clock back into work. <laughs> I was gonna add, like, a channel board redemption where it says, like, clock in. But then that's, like, the same thing as saying hi. Should I add that? What do you guys think? I'm gonna double check my... Oh shit! My answer was at a normal level. Clocks you? Like... <laughs> like this? Yeah, I'll... <laughs> Add a channel burn engine right now. <laughs> also, our AC is broken again. Because we I changed the filter, right? And it worked for a day. But I think it's an issue with the coolant. So it's not like it's producing cold air, but not cold enough air. So okay, let's add a new redemption. Clock in. Make it 50 points. Um, one person per stream. Okay, I think I added it right. Thank you for clocking in, Kupopo. <laughs> I'm not making a clock out redemption because I think the clock in is so funny. I mean, that's kind of the bit we do with Kim anyway, right? Okay, now I think we're good. Because I was thinking about that last night. I was like, would a clock in Redemption be kind of funny? Because it's kind of like saying hi. I don't know. Okay, everybody. Today, we're going to play some mother freaking Mario Kart. Not mother freaking, mother freaking. Okay. <laughs> um, I haven't gone live for a few days. Doing homework. Also, expresso depressing. But you know what? I'm fine. So, thank you for clocking in, Kim. Okay, so we're gonna do Mario Kart. We're also gonna continue Cozy Grove, which is a puzzle base building game. So we'll do that after Mario Kart. But you know what? I have so many stories to tell you guys. I haven't seen you guys in what, two days? We have a lot to get through. Um, what do I need to get through? Oh, yes! What is this? 
Ain't no way is this piece in art.myshopify.com. Everybody, see these lovely paintings back here behind me. You can have one for yourself for the low price of... <laughs> um, not a low price, but they're all hand-painted. They're not prints. They're all copies and replicas of originals. So you're getting a whole ass painting, guys. Um, next drop will be in probably mid-June. So stay tuned, stay tuned. Exclamation shop and chat. I want to get to a million clicks today. Can we hit it? I need to update the secret command. What else? What else? I think I'm gonna be busy this weekend, so I don't think we're gonna be able to do a Mario Kart with viewers this weekend. So, Sag Mario Karters. I always make the same goddamn mistake of tilting my cup too much. Okay, I need to- I keep- okay. For my OBS setup, I have my chat here. My OBS here, and then my camera there. So I, I keep on looking at my OBS, not my camera, so... I need I need to break that habit. I don't know. It's because of my OBS, everything is not flipped for me. My viewfinder, it is. Okay, what else do we need to do? What else? Hmm... Oh, it's almost the end of May, so Je Oilers, Oilers, gentle reminder. If you want a custom portrait sketch card, you need to gift a total of five subs by the end of the month. Gentle reminder. But also firm reminder. <laughs> right now, holy, we have Koboba with 14, Kim with 4, and Pride with 1. So Kim, you are very close. Very close. Anything else? Anything else? Yeah, I think that's it. Let's play some other fucking Mario Kart. Okay, I'm gonna start with the computers just to warm up. I did do... I have... Oh yeah, I did get all the three star go trophies last week, huh? I did. Holy. Okay, so I'm gonna warm up a little bit. Let's go. Before anybody asks, I will never change my bike build. I'll give one to Peace and Art later. No, don't! Don't gift Peace and Art a sub. It's a dead channel. <laughs> I feel pretty confident in most of the DLC tracks now. The only one that I still kind of need to work on is Waluigi Stadium. Amsterdam Drift. But all the other ones I feel pretty confident in. Am I gonna play with viewers this stream? Not this stream. I typically do tournaments once a month. So you can follow my Twitter if you want updates or I'll make sure to tell stream chat too. But hi Clover. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? There we go, welcome to chat. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me you can also use the free follower emotes in the chat too. Well, welcome in, Clover. Okay, let's, let's just do a random ass pre. I got crumble cookies on Monday. Because <laughs> every morning, whenever, like, oh wait, guys, it's 11 11, make a wish, make a wish. I wish that... Wait, I can't tell you what my wish is. It won't come true. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, I have a story time about 11-11. Oh my god. I just remembered it. <laughs> Holy shit. The come up lineup is so bad this week. Uh, I kind of agree. I only got two cookies. I Wait, the banana one is actually pretty good. It tastes like... Banana bread, but in a cookie form. It's delicious. <laughs> it's just 200 cc. But anyway, so. Oh, okay, I'll do the 11 11 story time then. So. Okay. As with most kids, I believed in the thought of like, ooh, 11 11 o'clock, make a wish. I remember being in 6th grade and watching the clock because I changed schools between 5th and 6th grade so whenever I was in 6th grade I went to like a more like modern school so they had like digital clocks no longer and or they had yeah they had digital clocks they didn't have like the physical clocks with the, with the hands on it so it was a lot easier to tell the time <laughs> but I remember every day because it was math at 11 11 I would wish that my crush would like me back. 
This is little sixth grade me, okay? This glue is. Um, spoiler, it did not work. They never liked me that. Also, I don't think sixth grade crush went to my middle school, so it wouldn't have worked out anyway. <laughs> but I would do the 11 11 thing up until like high school just for funsies, but I was I would always wish the same thing. That ooh my ooh, maybe my crush will like me back, or maybe I'll get to see them in passing period. But yeah, you know when you're a kid, you play with the stupid shit. And that's part of the fun. I hate this track so much. Does anybody like this track? I think the only thing cool about this track is how, like, there's a bit of, like, orange light that reflects onto your model. Otherwise, it's ass. That's like my gameplay. <laughs> Holy shit. Has anybody been watching Squeaks's Ludwig's and then Stanza's? Oh my god, this is 200. I keep on forgetting this is 200. Has anybody been watching, like, their Mario Party speedruns? Not saying that I want to do a run myself, because I don't think I could ever do, like, a six-hour stream. But I think doing a stream where I play every single Mario Party minigame and do, like, easy computers. I think that'd be fun. How do you speedrun Mario Party? Well, it's not a very common speedrun, but what they're doing for their runs is you do computers at master difficulty, and then you have to beat them in every single playable minigame. Because in Mario Party, you can do the normal game board mode, and then also just party mode, where you just play you can choose minigames. Oh, I hate this! I dread the day whenever I get 200cc regularly and in online matches. That's why I'm seriously gonna quit Mario Kart forever. Nah, it's just, I love this game. This is a base track, what do you mean? No, it's so bad! You can't really see ahead of you. Oh, I almost had him. But hi Titans, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Also, Titans, I saw it was your birthday the other day. I couldn't watch the stream because I was going to bed. But hope you had a good birthday, man. Can we get some um, feels birthday mans for Titans? Just see better? One day we need to ban Titans. Like, seriously. They talk way too much shit. <laughs> Your PC was not having it for the stream. That's when you go, hey chat, it's my birthday, my PC is broken, can we get to $500 in gifted subs so we can buy a new PC? And then you buy the PC on stream. That's what I would do. <laughs> I'm kidding, I wouldn't. Unless... I missed every single coin there. <laughs> You're at a hundred percent CPU? Oh, that's I've never hit that. I think the most like just looking at my OBS. Shit. <laughs> Do I look at chat for one second? I can't. <laughs> Wait, I forgot what I was going to say. I, I legitimately can't remember what I was going to say. Oh my gosh! Why can't I use bad words in the clip titles? Well, you know, clips are public and they stay up forever unlike VODs. I mean, a creator can manually go back and delete clips, so if anybody says anything sus, I can delete clips whenever I want and ban you. But, um... I think it's because clips are viewable on the whole Twitch website, and it's in the recommended tabs more. That's probably why they minimize how many bad words you can actually put in the title. I tried a baby combination with 200cc, because it's high handling and high acceleration. I've been wanting... I usually go with, um, what you call it? I usually go with Shy Guy, because I, I do like the feel of lightweight characters. It's just the only time I struggle with it 
is if I'm doing online and then there's a lot more like heavy set characters, and I hate like being rammed about. But Clover, do you actually play? Guys, a rare Mario Kart fan. <laughs> Will I get in trouble if I try to work around it? I would say don't, because you know, like finicky Twitch is, and users can get banned too. You know. So I would say you can do like maybe like an at symbol instead of an A. Will you play competitively? Oh no, you're gonna hate my gameplay. Oh fuck me, dude. Oh no, I get so many comments on my YouTube like shorts, and they're like, um, oh, actually, if you tried this drifting style, and it's just like, I'm not a pro. I'm not trying. Or like, anytime I do get those comments like kind of shitting on me, I'll just be like, actually. This is from a year ago. I'm actually 10 times better now, but I'm still like just as shitty. Here for the vibes, thank you. Oh my god, hi Mac! Can we get some yo's? You're late, Mac. You're clocking in late. I would like to learn more strategies for like competitive type gameplay. Cause we've had a few viewers come in that do do the stress. But I don't know if I can fully commit to any, like, type of competitive gaming. You know, I want to have a real job. I'm working my job that pays me. Are you saying streaming is not worth it because I don't get paid? <laughs> can I change the title to tri- Oh my god. Change it to competitive- <laughs> Or training for competitive lobbies. That'd go crazy. Okay, this is not my track. I'll be honest. Steal hot Cheetos from the workplace? No! Do not ever steal. Unless... You know you won't get caught. Okay, don't steal money. Because when you steal money from a business, that can be like a federal offense. And you can go to prison. But you know, pocketing a few like candy bars isn't gonna hurt the company. Or like, sneaking an extra piece of cheese on your free sandwich isn't gonna do too much harm. What the fuck? Four gifted subs? Holy! Thank you, Titans. It was your birthday. What are you doing? Thank you. We get some whitens in chat? Thank you. Thank you. Into Master of Games. Oh, Clover got a gifted. Enjoy the emotes, Clover. Let's do the roomies got. Do you guys remember the roomies? <laughs> it was my birthday money, so it's not my money. Fun. But thank you, Titans. Oh, that means, Chatters, we get a bonus stream today. I don't know if I want to do Cold to the Lamb, so I think I'll go live on the R channel later today. But thank you, Titans. Thank you. So, chatters, chatters. Um. Go follow the art channel, because after we do. After we finish this stream, I'll go live on the art channel. <laughs> the roomies, bees I too love. <laughs> They're not here. <laughs> I mean, one of them's home, but my sister's not. Competitive play seems more like luck and an ungodly amount of focus on the track than anything else. Mario Kart is just crazy luck and consistently on your lines. I agree. I agree. Because, like, there's been a few times where I'm doing regular online and I'm, like, crushing. I'm doing great. Like, earlier, I did, like, three rounds right before stream. And I was in second. I was in third. And, dude, okay. The stupidest thing happened. So, I was doing... What was the... the, the, the I was doing Excite Bike, and you know how there's the green patch on the turn, and you can like um, cut through if you have a mushroom. So I was cutting through, and some bozo came behind me, the star, and then he crashed into me. So I went from second to eighth, and I was so mad because it was like the last lap. Wait, a three-star gold trophy! Holy! And I took so many L's too. Thank you for the lurk, Mac. Are the roomies the roommates? Yes. Um, watch the last VOD, the Japanese snack taste test. 
You'll get to see more of them. The roommates are about to time us off for misbehaving? No, you guys are pretty tame today. Nothing crazy. Tell the roomies they got a sub? Oh, I thought you said tell the roomies to gift a sub. And I was like, I mean, I'll take it. They already paid for my groceries, so... Oh, okay, I'm also so annoyed. Um, let's do Shy Guy, actually. I'm gonna try hard. So... Um, DSA just, like, requested my medical documents on the 15th. So... I should've gotten approved for my benefits by now, right? Because it's been almost 10 days since it's been requested. But my silly doctor's office is not sending DSA just the information they need. So, uh, it's probably not gonna be, like, all my case files aren't gonna be removed to, like, at least June now, and it's so frustrating. I applied in April. Maybe I should just... Because, like, I'm at a point in my life where I feel like I'm ready to go back to work. Like, I'm mentally ready. Because before, I, I took a break from work to focus on school because, like, my mental health was down. And, like, just dealing with people is too much. But I think I'm at a point where, like, I'm ready to go back to work. Like, I miss the workplace dynamic so much. Like, it gives you something to do. You know, talking to your coworkers is kind of fun. I, I've only worked service jobs, so, like, interacting with people can be, like, fun. But it's just physically I can't. <laughs> like, the other oh, wait, I told you guys on during the art stream. But when I went to go buy cookies on Monday, like, I talked to the person working at the counter for like almost like five ten minutes <laughs> i mean i went in right as they opened so i was probably the first customer but i kind of missed that engagement where was i going with that but like i can't necessarily work until i figure out my fucking benefit shit because depending on depending on what oh my god because for the benefits I'm applying for, I can't make more than, I think, five to six hundred a month. But for full SSI, I think you can work like a part-time job. But I don't know. So I'm kind of like being held back because my college, I'm graduating next month, right? So they're like, oh, you should start like applying for jobs or internships. But it's like, I, I can't really because I need to have money in between when I'm applying. So it's just like... Not saying that, like, this system should revolve around me, but you would hope that they could, like, work a little bit faster. I don't know. Your sub count is kind of impressive. Yes, it's insane. My sub count. Um, shoutouts Kobobo. They gifted... Oh, easy. Way too much last month. But literally, guys... Tomorrow, my sub count is gonna go... Because it's a month since my birthday, so... I'm gonna I'm gonna fall off to like 50 subs. I'm gonna be a nobody again. It's okay to call places and yell respectively to move it along. That's what I... Uh, I got so annoyed on Monday, because... The way... Because about last year washington dshs changed their phone system so they used to do it like in-house for the operators but now the operators are third party so since it's a third party like operator system sometimes it just fucking doesn't work so like sometimes when i call the operators right at nine when they open it'll say oh we'll transfer you to an operator and then it rings for like five dials right and then it's like well, right now there are no agents available to take your call. Please call back at a later time. And then it hangs up on you. What is bullshit? <laughs> and it's not supposed to do that. And anytime I tell like an agent, hey, that's what happened, they're like, well, we can't do anything because it's not our company. And it's like, okay, that's that sucks. <laughs> Maybe they're not logged in yet. <laughs> I mean, I have a lot of sympathy towards phone workers because it's gotta be stressful. I mean, typically you have like a script you follow, but you probably get so many shitty customers 
like, when we were setting up our internet for this new place here, we were on the phone with... I don't... I think it was Xfinity? I don't know. But we were on the phone on hold for, like, 20 minutes, and then the person helping us, super nice, super kind lady. She was really, like, charming and, like, we are goofing and gaffing with her. But she was helping us for, like, 40 minutes almost. Because she had to, like, ask us all these questions and shit, get the payment info in. But I wonder how many workers, like, actually work the phones. It's gotta be in the hundreds, if not thousands, I don't know. I don't start working until 10 minutes later after I get to work. We hate those workers. Are you quiet quitting? You just got a new job, Kim. You can't be saying that shit. Dude, imagine your boss is watching the stream. <laughs> Me except four hours? Dude. Shit, sorry, that was my controller. I was imagining, like... I think the only job that I really could, like, manage right now... Is, like, a cushy office job where I just go like this, do nothing for hours, and do one spreadsheet every day. Like, I think I could handle that. But I feel like that would break my brain. Why is there no option to tip super good customer service workers? Uh, I don't... I'm indifferent. Because not saying that companies will, you know, steal your tips. But I feel, personally, I feel a lot better if I can, like, physically hand somebody a bill. Because I know there's, like, a lot of laws and regulation concerning, like, how tips are divided for, like, digital tips. But, you know, I can trust my owners or management to not distribute them properly. A lot of companies outsource their customer service for cheap. Yeah. Like, I personally would feel a lot better if somebody in-house was helping me. That way they could actually like, answer questions. Or where they're like, um, I can't answer that question. Let me transfer you to this department. And then you get transferred. Like, hey, let me transfer you to this department. And it's, it's just so dumb. I think the last time that has happened to me was when... When I was trying to, like, figure out my health insurance. You always tip on card. I think tipping on card is the way to go, but if it's cash, it's kind of like under the table. You don't necessarily have to report it and get taxed on it. But if the workplace only accepts digital tips, then that's how it's gotta go. Okay, this is the worst path. I hate- I, I should not go on the right path anymore. Right is not right, everybody. What do you mean? Just ask them for the number and take them out on a date? Okay, there were a few people, I think in my whole time in working service, there was, I think two people, like two customers that tried to like riz me up. There was one guy at a, it was at, when I was at the pizza place. And he was like, hey, oh, no, no, no. Cause like I promoted the surveys a lot. So what I would do is when I would hand the receipt, I would write my name on the receipt. And be like, hey, if you like the service or you like the food, fill out the survey and put my name. Because for every survey I get, my boss likes me more. And then the customer chuckles and then they might fill out the survey. I would do that at the pizza place a lot. And actually corporate, like the corporate regional manager really liked me because they're like, holy shit. Ever since you started working here, we're getting like a positive survey every week. When we used to only get like 10 bad ones. So you're doing great. And I was like, thank you. I, that was the only recognition I got. Just a thank you. You know, a, oh my god, like a coupon or a free pizza would have been nice. But anyway, so, I forgot. Oh yeah, so, <laughs> I tried this survey receipt thing with this one customer. He was younger. He looked like he was like 22. I was, I think 21 at the time when I was working there. And he was like, hey, why don't you write your number there too? And I was like, nah, I'm good. And he's like, okay, that's fine, man. And then he like walked away. Super nice and chill, you know? I don't- I would be so scared if anybody ever tried to like, you know, riz me up and then I say no and then they get mad. That's what I'm genuinely scared of. I mean, it's never like happened, right? It's not like many people like... Try to smash! <laughs> no! 
Hi, Jacob. Hi, Potato. Can we get some yo's? Oh my fucking god. I feel like I missed a big story. Nah, don't worry about it. I haven't even touched my cue cards yet, so you're fine. And then the other time, I, I told you guys before, the scone guy. That was the other second person. Wait, I'm in second place, holy. He might give me free pizza if we smash. No! That's- no. <laughs> Ethan is always out of pocket when Chad is tame. I beg to differ. I do not agree at all. Um, Chatters, you know what I do think? If you're new here, follow the channel. We are 30 minutes into stream, so... If you're new here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes and the ability to type in the chat and hang out with everybody. Can we hit our... Follower goal today? Smile? Oh, see, Chatters, I told you. I We hit 105 subs, right? But we're back to 99. I fell off. Did you see the ad updates for affiliate? No. New lore? What is it? Wait, when did they announce it? Did they, like, just announce it? Because I, I follow the... Um, what you call it? I follow... The Twitch support Twitter, so I usually get updates. You can make up- Oh, that's not new. I thought that's what it always was. But isn't that only if you run the- Did they update it to where it's not just the scheduled ads, it can be like the manual run ads? I'll do a few more with computers to warm up. Oh, that Titans, that update has been available for like almost a year. Almost a year, man. I mean, it's cool that the rev split is adequate, but I'm still never gonna do scheduled ads. It pisses off people more. You're just getting it now? <laughs> oh, Mega Lol. Or maybe it was in beta. <laughs> or maybe because my channel's bigger than yours, I just had access to it first. I don't know. Um, I choose to not schedule my ads because, like, you as a viewer, if you get hit with a, like, a random-ass ad in the middle of my, when I'm talking, I feel like that's gotta be so annoying. That's why I do them every hour. But since I run three minutes every hour, then typically, oh, there's no pre-rolls for people who are non-sub or people who are coming from the Explore tab. I am, like, half the size, true. I mean, my channel is still very small. Like, it's taken me... How do I say it? I'm almost... My channel's almost two years old, and I haven't reached a thousand followers yet. But the reason why I have not hit a thousand followers is because anytime I got... Oh my fucking god. Anytime I got follow botted, I didn't remove... Or I removed the followers. Because imagine you get follow botted for like 2,000 followers, and you keep them and then you average three viewers. It makes it look like your engagement and your follower count isn't genuine, which in reality, it, that is true, because they were bots. Because I only got follow about it one time, and it was for like 400 followers, so if I didn't remove them, I would be at like 1100. But I don't care. I'd rather have a viewer count ratio to follower count be... like normal, I guess. What was that? I fell off, got hit by a shell, and bolted. Yeah, I think if you enable Seribot, it'll automatically like ban the follow botted people, or um, Twitch usually bans any known bot accounts. But I usually just remove them. I mean, it's, it's only happened once. I remove them like right after stream. I think it's Commander Root, the service I use, but you do have to be careful when you use it. Because you can accidentally, like, remove every single folly we have. And that's called a skill issue. Avoid getting hit. Are you a hater? Are you now a hate watcher? Is the title for you, Potato Ma- <laughs> Dude, you're sounding like a YouTube comment section. <laughs> lightning easy- Wait, is there any way to dodge a lightning? Oh wait, I think the only way is if you have the star 
And then the ghost, right? What's the T, Titans? Give me the T. <laughs> I haven't even looked at my cue cards yet. Through this level, I hate it. I despise it. You like it? Okay, I'm gonna actually focus because this is what I need to practice on. <laughs> Blue Lake is the best way. I do have a soft spot for the underwater type of class. I will admit that. Um, what's the one where you're going through like trees and then you go through like the tree roots and then you're driving through like. Like a rapids? That's one of my favorite levels. Hi, Crystal. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello, Crystal. Oh my. This part, this part. It's been so long. I know, guys. I. I promise once I graduate, I won't have, like, shit to do, so I'll be able to stream more. And then it'll be summertime. So we're probably. We'll probably have more chatters too, which is great. I love chatting with y'all. I've missed y'all so much. Why, Crystal? Did you do something bad? Why are you being so wholesome? <laughs> I hate this one. Oh yeah, I think Crystal, you said you're getting out of school later this month, right? Me or something, yeah. It's like we're not finished until June second. That's still pretty early. Hey, that was embarrassing. I'm sorry, everybody. This was horrible. Rush update? I was just thinking about that for Crystal. But don't update if you don't want to. But you only have like a week and a half left of school. BRB, okay, we'll see you later, Titans. Once again, thank you for the four gifted and helping unlock a bonus stream today. Thank you, Titans. I hope the food market shuts down. Too expensive for $10 for a small bottle of ranch. I have to stop shopping at Trader Joe's. You know, there's no shame in going to like bargain grocery stores or like going to Costco. But I do agree. The only reason that, like, food prices are increasing is because the market shareholders, like, the actual companies, they dictate their own prices. They aren't supposed to, like, communicate when they're going to increase prices. But you know they do. It's kind of like if one company chooses to raise their prices of eggs by a dollar, then that's kind of like the new standard, the new price point. So not saying that the companies are colluding, but especially in a time when profits are at an all-time high and also prices are increasing, it's not like the companies are losing money by hiring more people, it's them making money at the expense of the consumers by charging more voluntarily. And the consumers have no other choice. Oh no! <laughs> it's better to go to Dollar General. I haven't gotten groceries at like a Dollar Tree or a Dollar Store in ages. And anytime I do go to a Dollar Store and I look at the grocery section, I get scared. I think the most adventurous thing I've chosen to buy food-wise from the Dollar Store was salmon. And it was frozen. And we baked it. And it was not good. It was worse than like frozen Walmart salmon. It was not good. 
like all this because whenever you get frozen salmon like white goop comes out but from the dollar store salmon like 10 times more goop came out I think the 99 cent store is not it. Ain't nothing 99 cents. I agree. It's a scam. You know, when I go grocery shopping, I go to Winko. So much better than Costco. There's a few in Washington. There's also a few in, I think, some Western and then Midwestern states. But it's nice because they have so many things in bulk. Like, I can buy, like, a whole big-ass bag of the yogurt pretzels for... I think they're, like, $5 a pound, so it's not too bad. Dude, I love this first line. It's so nice. You have good chicken tenders? I usually don't go to their deli section. Because I try my best not to buy any pre-made foods anymore. Because it's always going to be cheaper to make it yourself. And especially making things like... You can buy like a whole bag of chicken tenders for like $10 and it has... Probably like 20 inside and if you got that from like a fast food place they would charge $4 per tender. So it'd be like 40 You've never heard of Winkle? Yeah, it's a regional chain, but it's... It's not a, it's not a state regional chain. I know it's in some other states. I think Winkle also has a pretty decent union as well. <laughs> Where are you buying tenders from? No, like any fast food place. They're always expensive. Oh my god, <laughs> the bulldog is right in my ass. Are there any par- wait. Pi- pi beans? Pi rule? No, I've never- I've never heard of that. No clue why I threw the banana ahead. Yeah, I usually don't go to any like any regional grocery chains, because in my opinion, they're usually higher price point. Because there's one that my friend goes to because it's the closest grocery store to their house, and it's like a Washington regional chain. But everything is almost like marked up nearly a dollar or two more than like a Costco or a Winko. So it's kinda not worth. It's kind of like going to Safeway. You're paying just for the convenience of the name brand. my three star oh that was the last one. Oh yeah because that boo lake and i got like eighth i think another big reason why i don't buy, buy like pre-made foods from grocery stores anymore is the way they season it. I don't like it. It's like a very, like, American-type seasoning palette, and I don't like it. Because my usually, my, like, spice mix right now is salt, pepper, onion powder, paprika, and then a boatload of parsley and oregano. Does your Winko give samples? No, it doesn't. It used to. I remember going when I was little, and my mom would take me along just to get samples, but they don't do it anymore. No adobo? I think I've seen some prep. But I'm, I'm very, like, skeptical. Well, let's do a normal ass pre, no more DLC. Ooh. Where's the track I was talking about? Wild Woods. 
Wildwoods is, I think, like my third favorite track. Let's do this one. Is it normal for my charging phone block to get hot when charging my portable charger? Um, probably not. I would say avoid having it like on carpet or fabric. Usually, if let's say the pad is like this, I usually put it on its side. That way, it get, gets a bit more airflow. Okay, this one of my best tracks. It's directly on fabric. You're gonna start a fire one day. Some of your chat logs made you seem like an anarchist, so this is very fitting, Potato. <laughs> This is my best track, don't worry, don't worry. I've never fallen off there. You always get the worst look on this track. Nah, I think it's... I think it's all on your head. Yeah, I don't like going for the side path because it's a lot harder to get the ramp skip at the end. First of all, are you being paid to promote that? No promo in my chat. You guys should stream peace in underscore 17 on Twitch, right? Dude, what is going on? <laughs> this is just a normal ass game. Okay, I will admit, I don't try hard as much when I'm doing computers. It's kind of like I know I'm gonna catch up, but if I'm doing online, that's when I do focus a bit more. into a car accident listening to Princess Diana? Uh-oh. Hope you're okay. Or, uh, if that was a while ago, hopefully you're fine. Look, I didn't trick. So when my roommates got back in town from their trip, we had to go do errands, right? And my roommate can drive, so he was driving us around. And I hate being in a car, I've realized. I always get car sick. I've never thrown up, but I always feel kind of queasy. I think it's because I'm so used to like walking and then being on the bus. So the movements aren't as jerky. But I, I can't do cars anymore. I'll send you the TikTok. Thank you. I think the only good defense for self-driving cars is that hopefully there will be less accidents. But that'll only happen if there are more self-driving cars on the road. You know how they have those, like, car toy tracks? Where you kind of... Uh, I don't know how to explain it. But the tracks have, like, little grooves in it and the cars have to drive inside the grooves like it can't go off the track if cars were like that nowadays and just fully automated there'd be no more accidents because i think the human element definitely is a problem <laughs> or if people when they drove they had, like, the Mario Kart smart steering mechanic. So they ha- <laughs> Okay, Elon. No, we hate Elon. We spit on Elon. Because way too many people get hurt or die due to vehicular manslaughters or accidents. And that's just because people are shitty drivers.
Like, imagine- Oh my fucking god! <laughs> imagine if the whole country ran on, like, just- just buses and trains. But then if, like, a train crashed, there'd be a lot more people hurt. I don't know. Even with Mario Kart smart steering, you bump into other vehicles? But that's because the other vehicles aren't using smart steering. If everybody used smart steering, then we'd be good. I don't know, I don't drive, so I, I'm, I'm biased. This is a biased news media source. feel like there's a lot less lightning bolts in computer games when compared to- Oh wait, no, the opposite. There's a lot less lightning bolts in online games than computer games. This is definitely one of my worst tracks still. Should I go for a skip? Wait! Damn it. <laughs> I tried. No. Because the moment my sister got the new Zelda game, literally she comes home, she washes up, plays the game until like 9 p.m. And she does that every workday, right? And then this past weekend was the first weekend where she could like literally play all weekend. And that's what she and my roommate did. They woke up at like noon, played literally all day, only getting up to use the restroom or get some food. Literally all day until 11, and then they did the same thing on Sunday. I'm insane. You know, I like playing video games, but I don't think I could play all day. My hands would hurt. And my brain. And I do notice whenever I play games for more than like six ish hours in one sitting, I get like a really bad eye twitch. is always going to be hard for me.
I meant to go for the lower path. <laughs> I think it's time for online. I need to actually try. I need to focus. You know what else I need to do? Run some ads because everybody, we are an hour in a stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. Six out of ten. I agree, it's kind of a basic ass transition. But get some water, get a snack, we'll see some of you guys in a few. Early. I'll get a dub. What are ads? I wouldn't know because I don't watch them. There are ways to avoid an ad. Wink. She would pass her driving test? Shut up! You know I wouldn't. Hey, you guys know the rules. If I get first in any online game, you guys get a sub. Let's do... Let's do Yoshi. I'm watching an ad, Sag. Yeah, I don't have the money to do the Channel Point gifted sub for now. Hopefully in June. Hopefully in June. I was hoping I would get, you know, a little bump from the... For luxury expenses, for mental health, for benefits, but it didn't get approved yet, so I have no spending money. Am I spectating? Yeah, I'm spectating. If you're watching an ad, don't worry. We're just watching somebody play the game. Why would you choose the car? Those look like the little battery-operated cars you get for your little toddlers. If he wins, it'll be a miracle. Oh wait, he got a star, uh-oh. He spoke too soon. He's in fourth? What? That's crazy. Okay, Meg phone she for a second. Dude, how do you- Oh, he's in eighth now, never mind. Fell back off. How did this guy pull off? Oh wait. Wait. <laughs> they were in ninth, and then they were fourth, and they were in ninth again. Oh, they fell off. They probably got like eighth or ninth at the end there. Okay, time to prove myself. If I get first, chat gets a sub. Guys, I think we have the devil in my lobby. <laughs> Uh-oh. I so hope you win. Me too. 
Last week, I think I got like two first places. I went kind of crazy. Yeah, I don't- I don't think this one is gonna be a dub. Oh wait, oh, wait, we'll do predictions. You chatters, go Gamba. Do you guys think I would get first at all today? This is no dub. Not for time slot at all today. So within an hour, you think I will get first. Oh my god, this is insane! 5k in doubt? Wow, you're so nice. Keep in mind, I have a whole hour. I think it's possible. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, as long as I don't keep getting 200cc matches, I'll be fine. I love wasting time talking to my coworkers. That's what I miss so much about work. Like, just the social dynamics. I do think that, like, work can get kind of catty, like, in drama field, but it's so fun goofing and gaffing with your coworkers you get along with, or, like, having fun with regulars. I miss the interaction part of it. You know, I hate the job. I hate working. But just the social aspect is what I really miss. <laughs> None of us be for talk about others. Okay, not gonna lie, talking shit is kind of fun. I accidentally did 555 four times. Uh oh. I mean, you're gonna win big, surely. He gets mad awkward if people try to talk shit. Ah. Uh, uh, <gasps> You people have left the lobby. <laughs> I think gossiping is fun. But it doesn't feel good when you know that people talk shit about you. Well, you know what? That's how it is. I think it's no- as long as nobody's like being actually mean. Then I think it's fine. But, like talking shit about like how they work is fine. But like being like, oh this person is such a bitch. I think that's kind of not cool. Granted, I did used to do that. I will admit. But I no longer will do so. My Twitch was bugged and I didn't put anything in. Um, that's weird. I do feel like Twitch Mobile has gotten less glitchy, but Twitch Desktop has been kind of iffy. Try refresh your tab, or close and reopen the stream, potato. And if you're watching on mobile, make sure you have the most updated version. Okay, this is one of my better tracks. I can definitely win. Guys, I'm in first clip! I didn't mean to throw the green shell, but it still hit somebody. We love that. I'm so happy that I made it to your stream today. Aw, I'm glad to hear that, Jacob. It's not often we see you, but it's always a pleasure, man. You know, feel free. Hang out if you want to. Chat, goof and gaff. 
There's never a bad time. We have so much fun here. I do feel like the streamers that I'm not able to watch every stream and I appreciate a lot more. Because I watch Hassan every day, okay? He's my go-to. But there's some streamers where I can't necessarily watch every time and the streams that I do watch, it feels more like... special. I don't know. You were in first for a little bit? I know I was! I was doing good. I don't know, I think I literally glanced at chat and then some bad shit happened. usually lurk because I'm anxious. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, you know? Chatting is not for everybody. I know for me, like, I don't chat all the time whenever I watch a stream because it's hard for me to, like, think of- I'm last place! <laughs> it's hard for me to think of, like, something funny to say. Because my chat style is usually just emotes or kind of like a funny message. I think it's because me as a viewer, I don't necessarily need the one-on-one -on -one interaction anymore. This deadass feels like a hundred CC. We we eat lurkers? No! Stop, stop, you're scaring them. I'm pretty what? I'm pretty tasty. That's when you put flirt. Flirt would have been perfect there. Okay, this was despicable. I I think gossiping about mutual people is terrible and low-key immature. Well, then you'd hate me. I'd be a- I'd be your least favorite coworker. Because gossiping is fun. DK Jungle. If I get G DK Jungle, I will win. Guys, we have Groot in my lobby. You're gonna get first, I feel it. I think I'm able to. I will. I just need to, like, not look at chat. Because with a game like Mario Kart, if you have most of the line memorized, you're fine. You can, like, look away for a little bit. But when I- because, like, when I look at chat, I don't have to turn my head. I just have to, like, glance down. But usually, depending on how active the chat is, there's, like, five to, like, ten messages that I miss in, like, a 20-second window where I don't look at chat. So... I have to like skim through all the missed messages and find like a good one. And that takes like five seconds. But if there's only like one chat that I have to read, then it's like two seconds. So that's why I like I throw. But sometimes throwing is funny. You know, I'm not I'm not trading to be a pro. You know, I'm here to have fun. I'm in first. Clip it, clip it. See if I can hold this. Okay, that was a horrible line, but I saved it. What? Okay. It's fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Hit the little baby. Honestly, Merry Mountain is one of the easier tracks, not gonna lie. This deadass feels like 100cc though. This feels way too slow. I don't hate it though. I've had pretty good wep- or weapon. Item RNG. RNG. I've gotten a shell and a bub on in first place. That never happens. No blue shell, please. I need a dub today. I gotta prove the haters wrong. My channel points are over. 
Uh, you never know what's gonna happen. I have a- holy shit, I have an insane- I have a crazy lead. Did I put in, like, the scrub lobbies? I don't hate it. This will definitely boost my confidence for the whole day. Not gonna lie, whenever I do a Mario Kart stream and I don't get first, I genuinely feel really sad. <laughs> oh, there is a blue shell! <laughs> okay, chatters. First non sub to type in chat gets the sub. Holy shit. Holy. First non sub. Thank you for the points. Potato, you get a gifted sub. Holy, that one was. That was a hard attack. Like, yeah, there was a blue shell and a bolt. Holy. But chatters. Will I get first today? <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> Fuck the doubters. Only 15 minutes? That's pretty good. You want to do another prediction? Will peace in get first again today? This is why you never doubt the goat? See, you got it down. You got it. Hey okay, Chatters, new prediction. Do you think I will get first again? Go Gambit. Never doubted you? Thank you. Real fans. See, the non-subs are the real fans, everybody. <clears throat> Hello, welcome in! Can we get some... Eastside 2 Yo's? Welcome in! If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Come in. Samuru? Samuru? Why is my command not working? Exclamation W in chat. Well, enjoy the follower emotes. Okay. After this race, after this race. Dude, is stream elements broken again? No way. It was busted on Monday too. Stream elements was just working. We love third party services. Okay, I'm looking at the prediction right now, and we only have 100 points in the lead. I think that's kind of rude, looking at my track record for today. I had an insane win with... Okay, not a crazy lead. I meant to throw behind me! I will admit, this is one of my worst tracks. God. <laughs> it's called screwing over the doubters with minimal points. True, true. But you know, if you don't go if you don't go all in, does that mean you truly believe? You know what to say, go big or go home. You should always do that unless you're gambling. You should you should just never gamble. Unless it's channel points. Okay, wait, I'm caught up to the middle of the nerd. I might have a chance. Oh my god, the- <laughs> Landed on the bullet bill. That was just pure bad luck.
Okay, that race was just doomed from the start. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what I'm not sorry for? Wait, 1.7 and believe? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's get this gifted sub. Oh, Wildwoods. If I get Wildwoods, I will win. I deadass will win. I almost clicked the ban button. Omega lol. Wait, but dude, you've been sub for eight months. You're probably gonna get a new badge today. Pause. Let's go! Thank you, peace and underscore art for the gifted sub. Holy! Enjoy the emotes, potato. Oh yeah, potato, you finally have a flower badge. Damn. And they're all gifted subs. You look a little shit. <laughs> but enjoy. I have my fair share of gifted emits. Yeah, I forgot. Don't worry, I'm I'm trolling, I'm trolling. Yeah, not gonna lie, I don't think I normally like subscribe at a tier one to a channel that I watch often. It's mainly because I have a Twitch Turbo, which is similar to like a YouTube premium, but for Twitch you get like no ads on the whole website. Hashtag not sponsored. But if you're balling on the budget, consider a Twitch Turbo subscription. Part of the ad revenue Split does help the creator, so even if you're a Twitch Turbo sub, I still get like CPM if you have to not watch an ad, but if you're given an ad when you're watching. So it helps me like a little bit. But I do think it's fun to receive like a random gifted in the stream you don't usually watch too often, because then you can see their emotes. I think my favorite random gifted sub that I've gotten was in probably Extra Emily's chat. Her emotes are really good. <laughs> but hers, they're just like the screenshot ones. But they're still pretty solid. Hey, okay, fifth, not bad. If I get a boost here. Nope, I. I saw the red and I thought it was a mushroom. I'm gonna do some story times now. Maybe that'll help. Because I've noticed whenever I'm just like randomly, randomly rambling, sometimes I play a bit better. Did the pipe get you mad? No. It took all my like strength to not make a joke. Damn, everybody likes the Thwomp Ruins. Thwomp Ruins is another one of my good tracks. There's a player named Pipe. Bottom left. jerk behaviors that I've seen is people when you go out to eat and they say oh I forgot my wallet I guess you have to pay I have never done that I'm a brokey you know I have no money right now but big but if I'm going out to eat with somebody I will communicate to them beforehand hey I have no money are you okay with paying and usually they're fine with it but I can never picture myself being scummy enough to pretend to not have my wallet just to get out of paying a bill. I think it's so scum. 
if you do that, if you're a bad person and you should evaluate your behaviors. Apple Pay and Google Pay are a thing too. Yeah, there's so much more accessible ways to pay. Like, there's been a few times where, like, I have not forgotten my wallet, but forgotten, like, certain cards at home. And I'll get to check out. And it's a blessing that I do have, like, mobile pay set up sometimes. But that's only when I'm, like... There's been a... I swear, every time I've forgotten my card, it's happened when I'm doing, like, self-checkout. And you know how when you're doing self-checkout, you kind of got to be a bit more, like, good and nice? If you, if you do anything that looks sus, the checkout lady's gonna, like, give you the side eye. I do that? What? Joking? I don't think you're joking. Why would you even joke about that? That's so mean. My card just did not leave my wallet. That's typically how I am, too. But, like, let's say I'm shopping at home, like, on my computer, I might take my card out. And then I just forget to put my card in my wallet. Like, I've, that's the only time that I've forgotten, like... My- fuck! Like my- oh wait, I'm a third? Holy- Like, cards at, at home. Dude, they're stream sniping! one of those ones is gone then I would have gone first you use PayPal for online stuff I used to do only PayPal but I think it's so much easier to keep track of things if it's on my card you don't carry your cards but you learned I don't think I could ever memorize my card information because I feel like that's a very dangerous thing You know how when you're online shopping and you're like, you physically have to get up and go to your wallet, take your card out? For me, sometimes I'm just too lazy and I don't want to get up. And then I don't buy the thing. As an introvert, I prefer to give the person I'm eating with the money so they can pay. That's kind of how I am too. Or something that I really like is at some sit-down places, they'll have like an iPad thing. To where you can pay at the table and not have the server like take your card anymore. And I think those are so much better. It probably saves the server's time. It's probably a bit more sanitary. Because, you know, the server doesn't have to, like, touch as many cards or cash. Do you split the tip with your friends? Well, usually, if I'm going out to eat with somebody, even when I could afford to pay, we never, like, split the bill. What we would do is, let's say we would go out to eat every other weekend. So we would be like, hey, for this weekend, I will pay. The next weekend, you can pay. Like, we never would Zell Bunny back and forth or, like, split the bill. Because I feel like if you do that every time, then it adds, like, a bit more stress in the moment. So, no, I've never really split the tip. We would just, like, take turns paying for the whole ticket and then therefore the tip. Guys, I'm in first. Holy, this, this is one of my better tracks. Isn't it uneven then? Ah, it don't matter. It don't matter. I mean, cause like, I'm very much like, I'm glad that this person is wanting to spend time with me. I mean, usually what we would do too is whoever was paying for that turn, they would choose where we got to eat. So it's not like the person who's not paying would choose- could choose like a really expensive place. The person who was buying would choose where we can eat. Okay, I'm using a red now. I like to use cash because I have a fear of my card getting declined. That's what I'm kind of like scared of too. Because I've only had my card information stolen one time. And then I couldn't use my debit card for about a week till I got a new one in the mail. 
But the thing with paying with cash, I do think it's a lot easier to budget yourself. Because then you can like physically see how much money you have. Come on, I'm so close. Okay, he's in first. He got a double item. He's probably going to get shit items. No! They had a green shell to protect themselves. Hey, and they had a boom box? Damn. Damn. I'd be picking McDonald's all the time then. See, that's kind of how I was too, but you know, McDonald's is always going to be good. It's always going to be solid. I got second. That's pretty good. If I got second on this race, then the likelihood of me getting first on this one is substantially greater. You know what else? Use the McDonald's app. <laughs> Thank you for the resub, Jacob. Can we get some wake-ups in chat? Hey, I'm tier one. Thank you. May I ask, Jacob, why you chose to subscribe? This is your first time subscribing, I think, huh? But thank you. Why are you using the TTS to hashtag sponsor McDonald's? <laughs> oh, um, Jacob, you will get your name written in our calligraphy journal at the end of stream. I saw someone eat two hash browns with an Oreo McFlurry in between and it looks so good. I think that would be... Ooh. I mean, because hash brown is basically like a french fry, right? So I, I know I like dipping my fries into ice cream. That is pretty good. But with soft serve, it's gonna melt. It saves me money. I sub because you're amazing. Oh, I... <laughs> Thank you, Jacob. <laughs> Wait, oh my god, I, I can win, I can win, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win. No, no talking, no talking. I'm dead, I'm gonna win. Jacob, when you said it saves me money, I thought you meant like subscribing to Twitch saves you money, and I was like, huh, that's not how it works. But genuinely, I appreciate it. You know, it takes a lot to justify subscribing, so thank you, Jacob. The joy I feel being done with work. Now you get to spend so much more time with this man. Smile. If I'm feeling evil, I didn't get the item box. Dude, it's this guy. Again. Oh, I thought he stole my item box. I would've gotten really mad. Hi, Aslan. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? I asked my dog. What's two minus two? He said nothing. Your dog is a genius. We should go to Harvard. My tax money finally came in. Let's go! We love tax returns. I think the largest tax return I ever gotten was like $400. Which is, I think it's pretty solid. The most I had to pay back was $900 one year. But that's because I was working like 70 hour weeks and I made more, I made like, I made middle class income wages. Because I was working way too much. Hey guys, I'm in first, holy. Oh my god, look at my lead. You can't even see the people behind me, holy shit. Um, guys, if I get first, I can't give the sub, but I think it'd be fair if everybody checked to see if they had a prime sub. You know. <laughs> a little bit, do they? Okay, that's, that's fine, that's fine. You had to pay them back this year? That's bullshit. Oh my fucking god! What was that even?
Wow, that was a lot. That was just unfair. How did somebody get a bullet bill and come all the way to first place and hit me? You know, the bullet bills aren't supposed to be that good. Yeah, all these tracks are bad. They all have cars in them. Wait, chatters. You know what would be great? If you follow the channel, because we are another 30 minutes into stream. So if you're new here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat. Can we hit our follower goal today, everybody? Weird question, but does ever what do you prefer? Warm or cold showers? I have never taken a cold shower. I do know that like cold showers are better for your skin or something. But I can't handle cold. I don't take showers anyway. Because I don't like the feeling of like water on my skin like that. But I can't even- Oh, which was mine! I can't even handle, like, a, a cold bath. It feels like I'm in a swimming pool. <clears throat> oh wait, this is the one that has the tulip farm. I tried cold, but I couldn't commit for more than five seconds. When my dad was in the Navy, he told me they only had cold showers. And they had like different tokens for like hot water, but not even the hot water tokens would give you hot water, <laughs> so... Ooh, easy! No! Come on! I feel like an ice princess when I take cold showers. Elsa? Was it just me, or did anybody cry watching Frozen 2? I cried whenever... What was the main song? What, okay, what was the main song for Frozen 2? Somebody has to know. Anyway, whatever the song was, I cried when I heard it for the first time in theaters. Did let it go, but oh, to the unknown. That's what it was. That's what it was. I cried when I heard it. I think it's because I, I have a great appreciation for appreciation for people who make it seem like they put a emotion or care into something. Is anybody gonna see the live action Little Mermaid movie? I'm considering it. I'm only gonna see it if my sister wants to see it though. Holy second place? Wait, come on! You motherfucker! I came back pretty well. Yeah, I do- I- I kinda wanna see the Barbie movie. It looks super artsy. It also looks kinda wacky with like all the color correction that's in it. Damn, I was so close with this one. Is the Barbie movie coming out this summer? It feels like a summer movie. Let me look it up, actually. July 21st? Thank you, Gobobo. Isn't that around when the Pikmin game comes out? Oh, bye, Potato. Thank you for hanging out today. We'll see you next time, hon. Also, enjoy the gifted sub. This con- this topic might be a bit controversial. Don't cancel me. Hi, 
I'm sure if you are like a minority, whether it be like identity, race, you probably have faced prejudice in some form in your, in your life. And it's unfortunate that society hasn't evolved to get better at this point. But you know, a lot of prejudice histories and happenings are still very fresh in terms of American history. Like some re legislation is not even like a hundred years old. Like i.e. like... Anyway. <laughs> so, I know I face prejudice myself, you know. Not saying that I will be super defensive, but it's very hard to not view things in that lens if you've experienced hardship for those reasons. I think also when you face hardship, you gain a lot more empathy. But then in turn, I feel more inclined to call people out if I see something that's kind of like kind of iffy or kind of like not a cool joke to make. And if somebody is making fun of me, I'm not scared to like pull out the cards. You know, I have the POC card, I have the career card, and I now have the final disabled card that I can play. So, <laughs> there's been a few times where I'm like hanging out with friends and I take a little bit too long to cross the sidewalk and they kind of give me shit for it, but then I'm like, hey, I'm disabled, and then they shut the fuck up. So I'm not saying that I use those cards all the time, but you know, they do come in handy. The POC card is mad weak now. Yeah, there's, there's too many people who are interracial, you know? It doesn't work. I, okay, I'm gonna clarify, I myself am Asian Hispanic, so... <laughs> it's just not as effective. It, it, it doesn't give you, like, as good a stats as before. Hey, I've been taking somebody else's goddamn race. Give me something good! What is the topic? <laughs> the, the the note I wrote down is playing in quotation marks cards for excuses. <laughs> I think the main point that I'll leave on that is that you do need to be like as understanding and respectful for people who may seem a bit more like um I guess combative with certain issues. Because when you experience prejudice whether it be like in public, in the workplace, at school. It's very hard to view people in a kind light if you experience that negativity. Like one of my mom's friends, she's from um, a country in East Asia. And her accent is very heavy. And she's lived in America for almost 30 years. And her accent is still really heavy and that's fine. But she feels... This individual, like, taught um, English learning ELL in school. And this person felt like, because of their accent, they still faced a lot of discrimination. Even if it wasn't meant to be that way, she still has that trauma. That's in the sense that that's all she can really think about. So if you have a friend who is, like, let's say complaining about experiencing something, and if you don't necessarily understand their perspective, you just need to hear their story and then try to understand. And that's kind of like a conversation you'll probably have to have with people who live in a more, I guess, recluse area when there's less POC people. But you also can't tackle that conversation in a way that's too combative. White people having cards. <laughs> oh my god, I looked at chat, I looked at chat. Apparently as a carbon straight people make fun of me for not having a romantic partner. You just go, I'm gay. <laughs> Sorry. They automatically have less stats. No, no, they, they have a... They have a buffer in America, but everywhere else, their their stats go down. Stop! Okay, I dodged the bomb.
I used to be like that, but then I realized there's mad gay people. Okay, okay. You know the Republicans who are like, ooh, they're transing our kids or making the kids gay. Okay. Fucking dumbass. People have... Queer people have been around for literally centuries. There's been documented cases in, like, ancient times, okay? It's not that it's weird or new. It's always been there. It's just, in American culture, it's so repressed. People couldn't be transparent about their identity because, you know, they could get hate crime. They're just mad about it because... They use the aesthetics and culture wars to distract the voter base from the main problems and the actual things the Republican Party is advocating for. Because a lot of people who do vote, who are uneducated, usually are one voter issues, meaning they'll vote on the decision of one policy. So people who are like apolitical, their entry to politics will be the optics, so like, LGBTQ issues, abortion rights, right? But in actuality, the Republican Party is meant to stand for economics and anti- Oh no! Anti-environment policies and pro-corporation. <laughs> like, go please, and I'm like, damn, y'all are gay? <laughs> no, okay, okay. You know when you log into Facebook and literally all of your high school friends are now queer? Well, okay, I'm one of them, because I wasn't, like, out-out when I was in high school. Like, some of my friends knew, but in, like, my Facebook bio, I have the uh, three hearts. I kind of love it. Me too. There's, like, two people that I remember who looked... Okay, not look. That's not the right word. <laughs> who seemed... Like, they kind of fit the bill for, like, genderqueer. And I kind of knew. You know. You know. And then now, after, like, three years after graduation, they had in their bio, like, they, them. And I was like, dude, I knew it. I knew it. But I do like how there's a bit more openness with it. Gays have less options. Yeah, I guess. You know, I'm bi, so I can just fuck anybody. All the gays in my school were super obvious. <laughs> I mean, dude, I live in Washington, so everybody dresses like they're fucking queer. So you can't even tell sometimes. Wait, chatters. Chatters. Do I look gay? Type 1. <laughs> Wait, it's almost Pride Month! <laughs> Did we do anything for Pride Month? Like, how, how do we even celebrate? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I feel like that's a hate crime. Wait, what? What's a hate crime? What? I didn't do anything. Oh, if you type one? Well, what? Explain. Explain. What, what do you mean by that? Guys, I have LGBTQ tagged. I'm not- I'm not a poser. I'm not a fake. <laughs> you should guess the sexuality of Mario Kart for Pride. Oh no, I feel like I'd get in trouble for that. Oh, you mean like new viewers would think you guys are bullying me? Okay, valid. <laughs> valid. That's fine, that's fine. Some new viewers, Matcha? Daisy is gay? Yeah, that's why she never smashes Mario. Sinisters. I'm new here. No, you're not. You're literally lying. You're literally lying. Hi, Sinisters. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Okay, new chatter, new chatter. Would you get offended if I asked the chat to answer if I was cool here? <laughs> Would you be offended? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I think it would be 
drastically different if I didn't have the tags, you know? No! I was gonna do a skip! Okay, chatters, you know how, like, on the Twitch front page carousel, they have, like, featured streamers? Literally, anybody can be on that carousel. All you need to do is email, like, Twitch staff and be like, hey, this is my stream, can I be on the front page? And sometimes they'll let you do it. Especially during the months where it's like, um... Like this month, Asian American Pacific Islander month, or LGBTQ month. You can email them, like, a month in advance and be like, hey, can I be on front page? <laughs> Should I email Twitch? Because you don't necessarily need to like be a partnered streamer or be a Twitch ambassador. If you email them and they and you're good, they'll let you on front page. Cause you know, Twitch loves representation. That's like paying paparazzi to show up at a restaurant. Granted, I don't think I ever want to be on front page. Bam, email them. I don't no, I don't think I because when you're on front page. You usually get like a mass influx of viewers. And not that they're like bad, but it's like the normie viewers. Worst case, it's a no. What would we, what would we do for a front page stream? <laughs> what should we do? The Deciding identities of Mario Kart characters. Okay, the scary thing with Twitch front page is Cutely and Scootish were um, on the front page, right? And they got literally like hundreds. I think they peaked at like a thousand or two thousand viewers, I can't remember. But when you have that many people looking at you, it's scary. It's scary. No, I don't. I don't know. I'd only want to be on front page if I got into a Twitch Rivals event. <laughs> I could never- I'm not good enough at games. I would be the diversity pink. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Twitch staff, thank you for watching. I'm joking. I would love to be on the front page. No, no, no. The only time I'll get on front page is if I'm invited as a cutie Cinderella's uh, master baker. We decided that ages ago, remember? Oh, easy! Third place, hold. Oh my god, second place? Eyes. Okay, first is pretty far ahead, but there is a blue shield approaching. Well, they're actually not that far ahead. And I have three red ships. <laughs> you thought you were safe from me. Fuck you! Oh my god! Where does it even take place? Uh, um, what you're talking about. Twitch front page, you can literally be on the front page at any point of the year. You just have to email them, typically. But I don't think... I don't think they'd ever let somebody like me, I'm a nobody who averages less than 10 viewers. They, that would be a risk. Like, it would it would have to be like a diversity pick if they chose me. But, oh, Master Baker, that's in California probably, because that's where she lives. But I think she already has people lined up for the summer and then fall season. Because I remember seeing a clip of, like, Extra Emily talking about it. I'm in fifth place. Come on, 
get him. Do they fly the people out? It depends. I don't know. I would never get on. I'm not clouded enough. And I think I'm overqualified in the sense of like, I know basic baking and cooking. Like, I think the whole premise, I think the, the fun part about watching that series was that it was people who didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> My friend was on the front page for something with Sega. She averages 20 to 30. Holy! That's great for them, man. <laughs> but I would be scared. <laughs> Imagine me on the front page with my shitty ass Mario Kart gameplay. <laughs> So this is like a fantasy for like two years in the future. <laughs> It'll be funny as shit. I can't. I mean, this would never happen. I'm even, I'm like scared to do like collab streams even. Not that it's, like, bad to collab, but it's... It's very hard to have, like, a good chat interaction with a collab stream. And especially when you're small like me, you need that chat interaction to grow your audience. Ooh, it's mirror mode. Okay, this one is really trippy, Mirror. Throw it at me, aren't you? That guy's a jerk. <laughs> Will I hit the train? I'm home from work now. What? Um, your mom. Sleep. I accidentally took like a two hour nap yesterday. I did my work in the morning and I laid in my bed at like 1 p.m. and I had Nassar on the TV and I fell asleep and then I woke up at 3. I'm trying to break out of the habit of like sitting or laying in my bed when it's not bedtime. Because it, my bed is so comfy, I'll just fall asleep. Everybody hold! No! Come on! Come on! Fuck you, man! Ugh. Go write a Google review about your job and say you're a good worker. Is that... legal? I feel like that's that could get you in trouble. Dude, I was so close. I'm looking at my like cue card list and I swear I've talked about these things on stream last time. And I cannot remember. That's good that you have the habit of making your bed, Mac. That's a really good habit. It's just I, I don't see myself doing it. <laughs> when I left my job, I left a bad Google review to mess up their perfect score. Giga Chad. Don't matter, you don't work there no more. <clears throat> I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win. If someone got arrested for writing a fake review, that sounds so sad. 
No, I don't think it'll get you, like, in legal trouble. But... Not... Probably not legal trouble, but there's probably, like, some, like, website rules to where you have to post negative reviews or you can't withhold the negative ones. I don't know. I don't know this shit. I'm gonna report my job. Do it. Do it. Become a... A hero. I hit that guy from the side! <laughs> you thought you were safe from me. If I get first in this track, it'll be a miracle. It could be possible because there are fewer people in this lobby. I think there's only like... 10? 10 or 9? Watch this. <laughs> that was so bad. Okay. Even though I've taken so many L's, okay, I'm not in top three anymore. I was in top three. Oh my god, I knew, I knew that was gonna happen. Sh should I just play like this, the controller blocking half of my vision? Will that help me? So I can see the buttons a bit better? Maybe that's it. Blue shell in seven. Oh my god. Wait, pause, pause, pause. <laughs> Not you hiding? Shut up. <laughs> you know who will be hiding? The non subs, because everybody, we are two hours in the stream. Time flew by today. So you can avoid the ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or. You can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Here, let me get this command. After the ad, I will do one more race. One more race for the fans, for the believers. So if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe. Also, click TC Viva Prime. And if you're new here, follow the channel. Easy. Okay, last race. Last chance. Last chance. I did get a dub already today, so it's not like I'm totally a failure. <laughs> okay, I'm sure hurting. No talking. I'm gonna win. First, flip, flip, flip. I can hold this. You're not bad. Held second for almost the whole lap. <laughs> nice one. Please. What are the odds? No way. I've never been that lucky in my whole life. And out of everything in my life, it's for goddamn Mario Kart. <laughs> Holy. Fuck you. Oh my god. They're actually sniping.
it hit them as they crossed the finish line. <laughs> oh my god. Well, it's a small lobby too. I was doing pretty good though. Can I do one more? I want to do one more. I'll, I'll do one more for the fans. I don't like any of these. Be random. One more. One more. I'm gonna start in the middle of the pack, which is a disadvantage, but if I win... What you drinking? Water? I never put anything else in this cup besides water. Cause you know how when you use like a plastic or a reusable cup and you put like... Like a fruit juice in it and then it still tastes like fruit after you wash it? A Bangkok Rush. This is a new track. Not everybody knows it. I am one of the higher ranked people in this lobby. I have a chance. No talking. I, I'm gonna focus. I'm getting robbed. I feel like the fireball is way too I OP of an item. You have way too much coverage. It's almost like you're bringing in a weapon of war into the racetrack, which is not fair. You should not have that many bullets. I mean, fireballs. <laughs> that should not be allowed. Because <laughs> it's the only item to where you can bombard the whole track. It's basically impossible to dodge. Drifted the wrong way. Did I eat a chocolate cupcake first or chips? Um, I think chips. That way you can end off with a treat. Oh my fucking god! I've been swearing too much, I'm sorry. Okay, a third is really good. If I do one more, I will spawn at the start of the racetrack. Oh my god, coconut ball! I'm correct. Okay, seriously, last one. I my fingers are, are not crossed. They're not crossed. Seriously, last one. Somebody left. Good. He's really wants to take my channel points? No, I just want to get another dub, okay? I want to do Mario Kart next week and be like, guys, last week I got two first place, not just one. You know, life is about the little things, and the little things to me is getting first in Mario Kart. Okay, whenever I can afford to, I will do another no cursing stream. 
Because that was really fun last time. Or another, I if I say blank, I give this up. You know, when I make my millions, I will do that stream. Oh. Out of all of them, why could you not just give me coconut mall? <laughs> my YouTube Clips channel is very close to a thousand subs, though. I'm at, like... 960-ish, I think? Or no, I'm at 600 and, or 970. I mean, just because I hit a thousand doesn't mean it'll be monetized. But, you know, a thousand subs is clout. Watch this, watch this. Oh my. No. Dude. It looked like I hit him, but then I didn't, and then there was like a lag. Not Twitch being the hardest pro black one to grow, and I agree. The discoverability features aren't here. And I think because stream content is very insular in the sense of people have to like the personality, typically, before they watch the stream. And even as a viewer, like, you kind of have to get used to, like, the chat culture as well. But I still like Twitch the most out of everything, because it feels like I'm engaging and genuinely talking to people. But if you do want to gain an influence on Twitch, you should post on other platforms. Just so you can have a greater reach. But I feel like that's good advice for if you want to grow on any social media platform, you have to post everywhere. Because every user has their own favorite platform to consume content on. And every platform has a different benefit to it. Ooh. Oh my god! <laughs> I was doing so good! I wish YouTube streaming was better because I strongly considered it. I agree. YouTube, I think... It's because YouTube is not known for stream content. So if you, the normal YouTube user, logs onto YouTube, you don't expect to see live streams. Okay, I'm, I'm done with Mario Kart, everybody. I'm, I'm done. I, I fell off. Will I get first again today? No... That. Rage quitter? <laughs> I'm not. I did three extra races and I still didn't win. Okay, ready? New stream game. We're gonna continue with Cozy Grove. Shameless plug. Wait, what are you talking about? Are you talking about peaceinart.myshopify.com? No way, everybody. If you visit peaceandart.myshopify.com, I'll put the link in chat. Because Stream Elements hate me. Click the link in chat! You... You don't get anything. <laughs> um, can we get to a million clicks today? If you use code TWITCH10, you get $10 off your purchase today. Off of original paintings. You can get a painting that you see in my background. What is that? Mac, why are you putting links in the chat? What the fuck? <laughs> what is that? Was that just on like your copy and paste? You have everybody. New paintings will be launching in mid-June. So bookmark the website. That way you don't miss anything. Yep. Excuse me. I'm also gonna bump up the game audio. Because it was way too soft last week. Is this a good level for the game? Is this like... Because last week the game audio was way too soft. Like, I want the game to be at a little bit softer than me. Because especially for a game where I don't necessarily talk too much, like, you need to have the game be a bit louder. Because if the game is too soft and then I talk, it's almost like... 
like way too dank if my mic is too loud but compared to the game audio it's almost like shocking jump scare it's good i think yeah i bumped it up like one level more than i did last week okay what'll be a good title <laughs> hmm Let's see. Good title, good title. I'm excited that you started this game. Yeah, I think it's cute. It'll definitely take a bit to like figure out how the game works. Or how I'm gonna commentate over it, because it's a bit hard. Okay, what should I title the stream? What is something good? Am I haunted? Am I haunted? Am I haunted? <laughs> okay, let's continue. Campfire flamey can burn many items. Every spirit is struggling with something, but it may take them a while to open up about it. Bushes and trees are important sources of many items, not just fruit. Plant lots of them. So make a farm, make millions. Why does this game take so long to load? Shouldn't loading screens be a thing of the past? You would think that technology has advanced so See. much. But it hasn't. Why was the screen red? Kinda scary. Okay, so last week we had just set up talking to some of the baseline ghosts. What would you like to do? What do I do next? I sent something as a log there eager to give you, if you can help them. Feed cooked food, then harvest essence. Surrounded with items it likes to increase its harvest. Yeah, I can't catch the bug until I get a net. Oh, who's this? Miss Carabs. No! Oh, is, is it that time again? It feels like I laid a rest only minutes ago. Has a whole year really passed by already? <gasps> Wait a minute. Is that Kit I spy over there? I know he wasn't here on Cozy Grove the last time I visited. Oh, wait. You're a spirit scout. That explains things. Hello, little soul tender. Thank you for making my latest visit to this island. Interesting. Um, nice to meet you. I must say, it pleases me to be able to share my festivities with a living soul. The ghosts of Cozy Grove deserve joy as much as anyone, but they tend to forget themselves. With you around, perhaps we can have a memorable festival for a change. Oh, it's so exciting to imagine. Please, please, don't be shy. Take a look at what I have to offer. Oh, would you like a hug? I don't hug strangers. Okay, so would you like a hug? I want to buy something. Craft? I want to die. Something. D-Y-E. Sorry. <laughs> or I want to buy clothes. Let's... Let's buy something. Okay, so it looks like she sells some materials, tools, and then decorations. Which I don't have the money for right now. I 
I do like how the fish just automatically, I guess, attract your lure. Like, you don't have to aim too bad or too hard. Wasn't this area, like, in full color last time? I don't remember. game does play in real time and since we're only playing once a week i'm probably not going to progress as fast but you know what that's okay we go at our own pace captain bill with our snout that ill wind is back i've been stuffing feathers in my coat all morning to no avail if i can't get warm from some quarters soon i'll have to give up my dramatic seaward posture <laughs> i wonder if he could help why the merchant of mischief, trickster of terra firma, my constant tormentor, Mr. Kit. Some say he sells wares what can cure a captain of his shivers, but perhaps those are just fishermen's tales. Okay, so I have to buy a sweater. So I guess maybe every day the world goes to black and white. And then when I complete the missions, they go back to color. Jeremy Gruffle. Can I help you with something? Hello again, Maker, buddy. I've been thinking about you stuck here on Cozy Grove. You and I, we're sort of in the same pickle barrel, aren't we? I'm allergic to pickles! Oh, sorry. How insensitive of me. Stick to woodworking and leave clever sayings to the professionals. That's what my mom always said. All I mean is, neither one of us quite knows what we're doing here, do we? But I can help you dig a little deeper into this mystery. With five branches and one piece of softwood, I think I can do just that. Okay, so I gotta collect shit. Hopefully it's not too hidden. Oh, what is this? This is new, this vine thing. Shrubbery. A malevolent shrubber, you feel the urge to murder with a, with a machete. Maybe if you had a machete. Okay, so I guess I can craft things and probably buy weapons as well. Oh, I have a lot! Okay, five branches. I didn't realize I had them. <laughs> You found all five branches and one piece of softwood, too? That's great. I was worried if I'd asked you too much. Here you go. Your very first pickaxe. It's a little flimsy, but I should let you dig right into the rock of the island. And while digging, if you happen to find any answers, and why I'm doomed to haunt this place, well, I wouldn't mind knowing is all. Plus one pickaxe. Okay, got it. So... It is, whenever you complete the little mission, they regain their life, their color. have some tools. You can't fit this stack in your backpack. Okay, I forgot which button is which. A wise backpack, okay. Oh, I have crafting recipes, I had no idea. 
Wishing tree crafting recipe. Let's learn it. Scout. You learned a new crafting recipe. Wishing tree. Now you can craft it anytime you want at Maker Bear's Workshop. Ooh. That's key. A clown bear statue crafting recipe. That one's a bit creepy. I don't know if I like that one. I want to see, do I have storage? Oh, I think I have to talk to the fire for storage. Oh, put stuff in my storage. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna put my decorations and things that I can't sell in here. everything. I don't know what to do with the chime thing. Try skipping stones toward clams in the water. I don't think I've seen any clams. Oh, this area is new. I definitely think once I have like all the base tools, then I'll have a bit more understanding of what I need to do. You need a silver shovel. Oh, come on. That was the thing that did annoy me in Stardew Valley where you couldn't break certain logs or stones. You didn't have a strong enough tool. with something you're well on your way to be to being completely ori oriented what? like or that i've never heard of being used that way scout i hear you've been helping out some other ghosts on the island that's a nice thing for a spirit scout to do hey since you're out there searching for missing things you haven't seen my team on have you nearby in a crow's nest you'll find it buried in a dirt pile and then a tea pastry. Okay, so I need a crow nest. Okay, let's see if I can upgrade, because this says upgrade my tent. Feeling cramped? I can upgrade your tent with 12 additional storage slots for 5,000 old coins. It goes directly to the Scouting National Committee. I don't see a cent. I think he's lying. There's no way it <laughs> doesn't pocket a little bit. Okay, let's find that teacup. 
Okay, I got a potato. I saw a little ghost here. That wanted a potato. Where'd it go? Oh, right here. I hold it in my hand. And I approach the ghost. Oh. Okay, that didn't work. I thought I was being smart. You know what is pretty smart though? Following the channel. Because everybody, we are another 30 minutes into stream. So if you're new here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat. Dude, Annette is 7k. $250 for the sweater? Easy. Okay, so Flamey has my closet. If that fox sells wares as fine as these, I'll permit him to haunt the dry docks. For now. Yes, indeed, the chill is fitting already. This is a wing warmer of the finest quality. I think I'll add it to my cabinet of the mind. What's a cabinet of the mind? Why ever explore a worth their salt as a cabinet of mind? Though some of the less lyrical among them might call it an item collection. <laughs> it's an imaginary box I used to track the doodads, whelps, and golly whats I've come across in my travels. Once you have the idea, you can easily imagine an item collection as your own. Right, is this item collection even real? Dude, I'm such a Debbie Downer. <laughs> as real as you want it to be. Ah, I see it takes shape. Anything you'd like to donate? No. If it's not real, I ain't doing that. I'd rather sell shit. Let's go! He now sees in color. It's just like that one Logan Paul video where you can see colors again. Okay, things are a lot easier to notice when everything's in color from foraging. So I guess I need to focus on completing the daily mission and then searching. I guess the missions reset if you don't complete them by the end of the day. Because I think I had a different mission. Yeah, see, that's the pastry. I would, I would have no clue that's pastry. You signs of spring delight me more than the return of ducklings. Find them, feed them, love them. Let their guideless waddling so so let their guideless waddling soothe their soul, little mortal. Whoa. Okay, so I can make dyes to change my clothing. Which I don't- I don't care too much about skins or clothing, honestly. Not my priority. I think I do need to do a bit more fishing though, that way I can get a little bit of money.
I look so happy. Can <laughs> I get the recipe? What would you like to do? I have a log for you. Yum! Only six more logs before I'm full. I sense at least four logs out there. Maybe close. Maybe far. Dude, I really want the net so I can catch these gosh darn bugs. Oh, I have everything. It's so nice to see my mug again. I think I lost it yesterday? Given my ghostly condition, it's hard for me to be sure. The ghost's existence is a little... Confusing, you see. Our sense of the here and now is all mixed up with our memories of our past lives. Objects from the past tend to appear and disappear as we think about them. So this here. It might be my old ranger's mug. Or it might be a memory of a mug made solid by energy from the beyond. Tip. By the way, its tea is hot and tasty. Let's go! Plus one log. Okay, so I bet I can craft furniture and sell it. Make the big box. Yeah, I think he has another mission. What would you like to do? Oh, I was just thinking. Maybe the reason I'm drawn to making jokes is because it has so much in common with what I love. Crafting. You come up with material, then you have to workshop it, and if you did it right, you nailed it. Seems like I never quite get that last part down, though. Why do we even try? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, Debbie Downer, come on, man. Ooh, new character. Yeah, I want to talk to the postman first. Oh, we got three beetle beagles for the birds. Okay, bird food. I took the liberty of ordering some food for the young placid bird from Charlotte. Here's three bagels. Scouty Wouty. <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't heard back. Is everything okay? You've got your flame guide, right? Your aunt told me that old Flamey has been in your family since before the big last purge. Keep feeding Flamey and they'll help you locate all the restless souls lost in the dark corners of that island. From Scoutmaster Blake. Am I supposed to write back? I, I hate doing letters. I just hate talking to people sometimes. Not gonna lie. What would you like to do? Can I help you with something? Hey there, Postal Pal. Beautiful day as always. Got a little bit of a non-standard mission for you today. My girl, Lofi, took my earmuffs on her walk yesterday. She didn't bring them back. Think you could track them down for me? A new character? Oh. 
Francesca Ducla. Who dares? Who dares disturb the forest? I'm just a spirit scout. I mean no harm. A spirit scout? Really? So, someone's finally come to clean up our mess. I thought you were just an imp. Back to torment me as usual. It's been a while since you've had a living, breathing creature in these woods. For decades, it's just been me and my fellow trees. Can they talk like you? Oh, yes. They're just full of thoughts and opinions. Emerson, Carson, Cow Cow, Thero. Say hello to our guests. Friends. They must be feeling shy. Of course, I'm a little different from your typical tree, I'm sure you noticed. It's my embarrassing lack of leaves. The imps plucked them off me years ago and scattered them across the island. Would you mind finding my leaves for me? <laughs> to be a square animal? You know those art styles where they have like the cutesy aesthetic, like the round creatures? I think it's basic, but it's still really cute. You know, I want to make illustrations in that style, but it's kind of hard to do it without being like the copying. Because my opinion is that all art is transformative. Like, to me, there's no such thing as an original idea nowadays. But I think as long as you make it yourself, to me, that's more important. Oh, you know the art styles where they just trace pictures? Ooh, I hate it so much. You're not even drawing. You're not even learning how to render an image, you're just tracing. I think it's only fine to trace from a photo if it's part of your composition. It can't be the whole picture. Oh, I found the earmuffs! No way my backpack is full. Ain't no way. Okay, I'm gonna put shit in storage. Here's a log for you. More? Only five more logs before I'm full. I sense at least three logs out there. Maybe close. Maybe far. Oh wait, my little bird friend got bagels. He can finally eat. He's been starving for days. Oh. Sending via post to mail in 15 hours. Essence. Can I feed him? Oh, I can't feed him again. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Oopsie. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. You can go right here. Oops. I meant to pet him, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, he loves me. so much easier to see when it's in color. spotted a clam. Okay, six normal skipping stones. A moderately flat and hefty stone. Nothing special, but should skip along the water relatively well. Skip? 
skips to four times when thrown with sufficient force. Hit a sl hit a clan with more skips for better rewards. Okay, throw item. No! Okay, I actually have to aim. Yes, sir! Nice, I got wood. Easy. Okay, the, the thing that I'm aiming with, I'm not moving it. It just moves on its own. Easy! Guys, I'm a pro. What would you like to do? Still searching. What I need is out there somewhere. What I have I literally have the earmuffs. Oh, did I I my storage was full and left them on the ground. Shit, where were they? Oh right here, right here. I am. Easy. That was just a little prank. I was trying to see if you're paying attention, postman. Holy! I'm rich! Hey, you found him! I just love my lucky ear must What better way to block out the screams coming from an open mail? Right? Okay, dude. Sell some fish. What would you like to do? Hey there, stamp chap. I'm glad you stopped by. Have you noticed any imps running around with a bubble over their head? Yes, I have seen that, sir. I applaud your keen observation. Those are hungry imps. They're crying out for something to eat, but imps are very picky. They only eat a specific item they are craving. If you feed it to them, they'll happily give you, give you something in return. I mention this because one of those hungry imps made off with a letter of mine. I was hoping you could get it back for me. So, would you tell me the secret to feeding hungry imps? Oh, would you like me to tell you? Yes, sir. Hungry imps are craving a particular item. They'll show when you crave. They'll show you what they crave with a bubble over their head. Don't just walk up to a hungry imp. They'll get scared and vanish. Keep your distance so the imp is comfortable. You'll need to throw the item that they crave. Hold the item in your hand in their direction and then release to throw. If the item lands near the imp, they should eat it. If you miss, don't worry, you can pick up the item and try it again. After the hungry imp, ink, after the hungry imp eats the item, they will show you their happiness with a heart. You can tap a happy imp, you can tap a happy imp to approach and they'll give you something as thanks. Come back when you got my letter back from that hungry imp. Okay, I know one of them wanted a potato. Where is he? Just for you. Oh, he's so happy. Easy.
music in this game is lovely, though. This definitely feels like something you can zone out at the end of the day and play. I don't know if I'll play offline yet. Oh, my storage is full. Damn. I'll come back for that. Oh, don't take it! I'm watching you. Don't steal it. For you. Only four more logs before I'm full. I sent someone as a log they're eager to give you, if you can help them. On my letter. I bet that hungry ape was pleased you fed them. Did it give you anything else in return? Um, it gave me an imp essence. Ah, you must have made them very happy if they dropped an essence. Hungry imps often drop essence in appreciation. It's handy for crafting food and other useful things. Well, I hope that was helpful. Talk to you later. You discovered one of Patrick's memories. Oh, he's a full heart now. You think that delivering a postcard would be the easiest postal task, but in the afterlife, postcards can be some of the heaviest burdens. Final goodbyes, bittersweet memories, huh. Sometimes it makes me wish for a good old-fashioned non-possessed piano or a set of encyclopedias to carry. Dude, it'll literally break your back, though. Okay, I have three more leaves. So I think the leaf is the last mission of the day. Holy! Oh, there's an umbrella in this tree. I can't chop it yet. Kinda weird. Dude, a whole ass bird's nest. Nice. That'll be my snack for later. Two more leaves. Searching.
One more. Oh, I found it. Okay. Easy. Let's see what happens when I donate shit. I want to donate something to the collection. I'll archive this right away. Okay, so I donated quartz and I got money. So maybe, similar to Animal Crossing, to the museum I have to donate one of everything? Oh, and when it's grayed out then I can't donate. Okay, that's so good. Because the frustrating thing with Animal Crossing is that there's no way to know if you've donated something unless you handed it to him. But since it's grayed out, let's make it easier. Ew. Oh, it's a sweet potato. <laughs> the picture made it look like a tongue. Wow, I got ten- Okay, so I don't get money every time. That's kind of scam. Okay, so every time before I go to the store, I should donate things. Oh, okay, I can select multiple things at once. Clueless. Okay, I want to check my collections. Oh, I can't collect multiple things at once. That's fine. 200 old coins, very nice. 200 coins, I'm rich. 200 coins? 600 coins, holy. And two quarts? 1500, oh my god. 200 old coins, okay. 200, okay. 200? Very nice. Big haul. Big haul. 3,000? Dude, I should have been doing this shit earlier. 1,200? Oh my god. I'm rich. I'm filthy rich. Oh, crafting recipe? Okay. And a quartz? Dude, collecting these all at once is pretty nice. I got quartz. More quartz. Okay, I collected- oh, there's one more. Okay, I think I've collected all my rewards. Okay. I think I'm gonna do one more lap around the island. Maybe craft, maybe sell a few things. But before I do that, I have to run some ads. Because everybody, we are three hours into stream, so if we know here... Oh, I did. The stream limits is still not working. That's fine. It's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad for viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. Like I said after the ad, we're going to do a little bit more. Explore a little bit more. Because I think now that we have the baseline thing set up, it's going to get good. Thank you for your demon, Mac. We will do that at the end of stream. Similar and I'm gonna keep on saying similar to Animal Crossing, 
but it looks like the different resources that you can pick up randomly do respawn or spawn different ones. I wonder if probably different creatures spawn at different times of the day. I'm gonna do one more lap around. Dude, I'm getting good at this fishing. My aim is on point. craft see if I can make anything okay let's ask him would you like a hug oh thanks for lifting my spirit scout okay that did nothing to raise my friendship with him so we're never hugging him again I don't do this lovey-dovey crap in game in real life I'm very touchy <laughs> I want to try and make a precious gem. Dude, this is what they need in Animal Crossing. To where you can just make... However much you need in an item. This is perfect. The only thing I don't like is that when you exit the dialogues, it, um, what you call it? It exits out of the home menu. Donate decorations. Yeah, I think that's all I can craft for now that's new. a basic idea of what I'm supposed to do, I'm gonna enjoy this game a lot more. Thank <laughs> you. 
noble jewel. Much blood was spilled over a gem such as this. Used to craft special items. Kinda scary. Okay, I think I've done all the daily missions, so I'm gonna do one more loop around. Oh wait, here- oh, I have your leaves, sorry. I forgot. <laughs> sorry, ghost. <laughs> Those are leaves I was looking for, thank you. Hmm, I can't seem to retract them. I can't even find the branches they came from. How strange. Wordsworth? Frost? Any thoughts on the matter? Typical. Most of the time, these trees won't stop rustling. But as soon as they need their opinion, their silence is golden. Oh, this is my favorite section. The purple bushes? Oh my god. Unk a W, who's in here? They conquered pear tree. Wait patiently to harvest delicious fruit. Also produces wood. Looks like they have another mission for me. Oh, I can craft stuff here too. He dies. Not really interested in that. Ooh, legendary die. Just like my Valorant skins. I don't need any of those. Can I help you with something? Thanks for the help earlier, little spirit. Did you notice the burst of color that occurred afterwards? It was hard to miss. I suppose it was rather dramatic. Bringing color to the island is a noble thing. This place isn't meant to be so gloomy and lifeless. I bring this up because my dear friend Toro is in need of your help. He's the walnut tree over there, just out of reach of my color. He's got an umbrella snagged in his branches that is bothering him terribly. I'd ask you to shake the umbrella free, but because Toro is uncolored, mortals like you can't interact with him. He can't even grow walnuts in his uncolored state, poor thing. He's so barren now. You'll need to extend the reach of my color to help him. Take this spear and lamp and place it on the colored edge of my domain to extend it to Toro. New lore update? I think that's it. Oh, there we go. There we go, Toro. You got that cursed umbrella out of Toro's hair. Now we can finally stop whining about it. You have a gratitude, spirit friend. And while you're here, maybe you can find a new home for my other friend. Here you go. Very nice. Okay, so I can place decorations and they have like different multipliers. Got it. So maybe it's not- it's probably best for me to place decorations around the whole island, not necessarily around my home base. Because I thought they were just aesthetics, I didn't realize they had like... Merit and stuff. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna finish my lap around the island.
think I'm getting the hang of it. I fucked up. <laughs> Oopsie. There's more underwater. Probably the best way to make money in game is crafting. I wonder how much money you could grind in like a day. Like if I were to play for just like eight hours straight, how far could I progress? Cause it doesn't seem like there's, like you can only do missions every day. I don't think you can progress with the story in a few days. Okay, I do think if I ever got like a Twitch front page stream, I think the IRL subway stream would go crazy. Hey Twitch staff, if you're listening, you could do a paid partnership with Subway. You can show people people working at Subway. Offer coupon deals, IRL. You could also do like a donation campaign for every sandwich bought you donate. There's like weird color shifts in the lighting in game, like it just shifted to green. That was weird. When there should only really be green light during sunset or sunrise. Weird. Okay, 
I did my lap around. Let's make our donations. See, I need I'm just going to do them all. I do not want to do the math right now. tool. I can only make decorations for now. Gem crafting recipe. Come on. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can make one of those. of my like fish then maybe see if I can buy some things Buy a net finally. I don't think I want a camera yet. Okay, so I need gemstones and money to buy these bird charms. Banded store? Okay. And then the fish I sold. Dude, look at the markup! 152 when he sold it to me for like 20? The scumbag. Actual scum. <laughs>
Do you want to see if I can place this cat charm thing? No, I can't. What's the point? I think I'll hold on to everything else so we can put a log- Oh! Let me get this bug. Why- Why can't I catch him? Oh, I have to use the trigger. It's a joy bug. Finally I can catch little critters. Finally. Think you can escape me? Nice try. Okay, I could play this a bit more, but I'm not going to. Because we have to do an a calligraphy stream. Delicious! Only three more logs before I'm full. I can sense a log in your back. Yum! Only two more before I'm full. I don't sense any more logs out there today. You should check back tomorrow. Okay, so that is true. So every day there's new missions. And there's a cap to how many logs or missions you can complete every day. And I guess you can feed them once a day. Okay, chatters. Let's save and end it here for today. And do some calligraphy. Okay, so now that I feel like I have a better idea of how Cozy Grove works, I definitely feel like it'll be a lot more like Animal Crossing. Like, I'll be a bit more chatty now, now that I know, like, what I have to do. <laughs> so, yeah. So, let's go ahead and get calligraphy started. Dream Element still hates me. So, if you donate to the channel or use your channel points, I will write your name right now. Let's get some dip music on. I do some classic Sonic. It's working. So I'm gonna do channel point names first, and then we'll do Oilers. Also, everybody, gentle reminder, if you have gifted a total of five subs this month, you are eligible for a portrait card. There's a thread on my Twitter. You only have less than a week if you want a chance to get a sketch card this month. And if you want a card, all I have to do is gift a total of five by the end of May.
see we had Mac redeem with their channel point. Now we can do Oilers. Once again, thank you, Titans, for the four gifted today. Helping chat unlock a bonus stream on the art channel today. Once again, thank you. Also, happy birthday. We have one more name to do. So if you want me to reach your name, all you gotta do is donate to the channel or use your channel points. Oh, I skipped the one here. There we go. Okay, I almost wrote a U, but it's a- oh, I fixed it, I fixed it, it's fine. It's fine.
Okay, and we have Jacob with a five month tier one resub. Once again, thank you for choosing to subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. Plus one. Um, but I think you were mentioning earlier that you're kind of introverted or shy, but you know what? Don't be scared to chat here. Even if it's just to say hi, you know, it's fine. It's a pleasure to have you here, man. Okay, so that was our last name of the day. Last call. Last call. If you want me to write your name, all I gotta do is do donate or use your channel points. Last call. I just realized I left laundry downstairs. I think? I can't remember. <laughs> Okay, chatter, <laughs> let's just wrap it up here. <laughs> okay, I would like to thank everybody for watching. Any chatters, lookers, thank you all for hanging out today. And once again, thank you to Titans, Peace and Art, who? And then Jacob for the subscriptions today. Thank you for helping support the channel. I will be going live on the Peace in underscore Art channel today. So everybody, I'll probably go live on it in like maybe at 3 o'clock. Oh, I gotta rest for a little bit. So everybody go follow peace in underscore art. I put it in the chat. It's also tagged in my title. We're gonna do calligraphy. So chill, hanging out, listening to the music, you know, all the cool jazz. I should be starting Zelda this week. Depends on how I feel. You know, I'm stressed, I have homework, mental illness. <laughs> so I hopefully will see you guys tomorrow on here on main channel. Oh well, yeah, hope everyone has a good one. I'll see you on our channel shortly. Bye. Bye bye. Okay, I'll see you guys on the art channel shortly. Bye! Wait, should I raid the art channel? <laughs> let's, let's raid peace and underscore art. I mean, you can raid offline channels. Everybody, go follow. Go follow peace and art, guys. Go follow it. We're raiding it. <laughs> go follow.